Sponsors for this program have been selected by their fees paid for by Caltech Cablevision, subject to the consent and with the approval of Calvert Hall School. And now for the second half kickoff. Here it is. Powderly powders it deep downfield where it's received by Lyles. Sean Lyles, who's tackled immediately, a nice tackle on number 54, Tim Donahue. Brings down Sean Lyles, first time we've seen Sean today. That was a surprise. Calvin Hall had an entire wall in front of that receiver, but somehow he was able to slip through and make Tim it. Donahue just, just was determined to get through, and he did. That was a good tackle. Very and he's very tough. happy about it, too, as you can see. Perhaps that's an indication of the type of play we can see on the part of the lane in the second half. They, well, that certainly uh, shows that they're ready. From just over the 20 to 21, let's make it first and 10 for Calvin Hall. Harris and McPherson. Coming to the near side. Now that's Sanders. Mike Sanders, a short gain, second and eight. <laughs> Nozmack, John Nozmack with a tackle. He's everywhere today, doing a yeoman's job. Playing both ways and playing both ways very well. As are several members of this Delaney team, it's uh it's kind of good to see these guys play the way they play. This is our first opportunity to witness the lady in action, and uh, they got some good ball players. They say they do. They're, they're a fine team. Motion to the near side, the straight hand off up the middle. Tim Healy with a short game. And Dennis, they're playing tough defense, That's right? They are. They have dug in, and they're holding this Cavalier team tough. Both, both these teams are well schooled. They're well drilled, well coached teams. They know exactly what they're doing. They know exactly what they want to do. And if, if sometimes the, the flesh is navel, they, they certainly are willing. They're going to make the mistakes that high school kids make, but, but they are certainly giving it everything they have. Charlie Trimble, all the way at quarterback today. Two backs up behind him in the split. Drops back to pass, looks to the near side. There's Wilson over the middle. Receptor by Wilson over the 50. Down to the 40, inside the 40, the 37. First and 10, Calvert Hall. Oh, that's the exact same play we saw him go to when he scored a touchdown in their last drive. He, he split that so-called seam in between the halfback and safety. Here it is again. A well-delivered pass and a nice catch. And he's a tough guy to bring down. And Jamie sort of looked right up to him tentatively, didn't he? I don't blame you. He has such a fine stable of receivers and backs to go through. Really, that's a terrific offensive unit this Calvin Hall team is. Now, Billy Mojica is now in the ball game at the far side. He was not in the first half. And here's the roll to the inside. Looking for Mojica. He's open downfield, but it looks as though Trimble's going to tuck it away and pick up a few yards. That was the option pass run. And it was a good thing he did because he did pause for just a second as if he wanted to pass, and he almost lost his footing. So it might have been disastrous. Daddy made it up to try and plant and throw the ball. Here it is. Right right there. 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 He made a decision right there. like uh, Steve Wheeler holding on to him. There's the, the statistics for Charlie Trimble. 567 yards, so they do not pass a great deal. But when they do, he's very effective. To the near side is Mojica. Two backs behind the quarterback. Turn, looks to Mojica to the outside. Dumps it off to Healy. Healy moves the outside. He's safe, but steps on the line. Just out of bounds. And it would have been an automatic six. Oh, yeah, true. certainly true. But again, Bill Ryan, the referee on this side, right on the plate. Just a yard behind him. Here it is again. He'll step out at the 19, take a look for it, the little dump pass. A well executed play. And finally, and there's he the official out coming in. Was right on the spot. Bruce McLeod drives him out of bounds. Another fine back uh, out of the stable of Calvin Hall ballplayers. You know, we talk about all the good things that Delaney is doing today, and that's because we want to take it for granted that Calvin Hall does so much right all the time. Which they do. There's a flag into the pile as the play is. A little slow in developing. Let's see what the penalty is. The flag was it, it, got it thrown might, into the. It might be a hold here, or it might be. It could be a face mask. Well, we're going the other way, so apparently a hold. It, it probably is something of a surprise that that Coward Hall has come out willing to pass. Illegal block. The illegal block. The illegal block indicated by Scott Frederick. I started to say, Carl, it's probably a bit of a surprise that they've come out, Calvert Hall's come out passing, except I think they would like to score quickly. And I think they would like to assert themselves and just take it away and not have to let it go down to the waning minutes of the, uh, of the ball game. Good point, Coach. Now we have first and 100. Drop back to pass. Look outside. Caught by Mojica. And he goes out of bounds at the 20. But he's still short 
Oh, the first down. Oh, no, he's even short of that. He's yes. short. Make it uh, now second and 15. Great diving effort on the Heatless Park to make that reception. Calvert Hall is an effective short passing team. There it is. Nice pass. Good grab. That's Billy a good effort. Good effort. There are his stats. 197 yards, 14 yard average. And that boy, here he's out wide to the near side. Turn. Looks over the middle. There's the pass. Oh, oh picked off. Picked off as big Amaker. Doug Amaker picks off that pass. The flag is down. And he's finally driven out of bounds across the 35 to the 36. But we have two flags down. I suspect we have a clip back there. We'll get a conference here to see what it is. Let's see if we can pick up the foul, gentlemen, as we look at the play again. Here's the pass, intending to go over the middle. Alert. Picked off by Amaker. Right there, right behind the play. Good call. Flip up last on the play. Finally, Amaker, who doesn't know that all of that effort is going for naught. <laughs> and, and it, was, it was unnecessary. The play had gone by, and, and the, the effort was unnecessary by the boy who flipped. As Scott Frederick calls it, we'll see the play again. Number 20, great blocking by the way. Let's uh, see that block Watch right, right behind the play. Here. Bang. Oh, that's, that's yeah. dangerous. Good call. Anyway. It was below the waist. Makes my knees hurt to look at it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when, when the rule makers put that in, call, it was, it was really a, a safety factor. Rightfully so. Straight dive up the middle. Short game. We have a new man in the backfield. It looks like Patochny there, carrying the ball for the first time today. Picks up five or six yards. That's good average yardage. Second and five. That actually was a pretty good effort on his part. I think that's the first change in the back in the offensive backfield, Blaney, that we've seen today. It certainly is. Once again, the two backs behind Bader. Second and three. And off up the middle. He's close to the first down. We'll see where they mark it. That time it was the Damien. And it's going to be football lane time, gentlemen. Third in the football. Quarterback sneak or a straight dive. It's interesting. We saw Calvin Hall go to the air four consecutive times. Uh, I wonder what the theta might be thinking about just about now. Gutsy call when you've got a football lane. Uh, well, except I think they're going to play it honest and go for the first down and then go. Straight dive up the middle. And he has it. First and ten to Laney. Except he faked the pass. But it, it's a, that's a good dive play for first down. Getting up off the ball, the big fullback, Doug Amaker, who, by the way, after that interception was limping before. You see him favoring that left leg a little bit. Several Delaney boys have done yeoman work when you fellas mentioned that, and, and it's obvious, uh, going from offense to defense, we're hearing the same name. So exactly right. First and ten. Rolls to the right, looks the pass, looks for the flip off. There it is. But he's hit hard and often. Derek McPherson, the first man to him as he tries to get outside. Jamie, the little speedster, hit by McPherson, rolls back inside, and then is met by a host of Calvert Hall defenders. I'm sure someone would say, Carl, that they went to the well once too often. Yep, here's that same option play that he's been running all day. He flips it. There's McPherson, and then, ooh, thank you. McPherson and company waiting. And so they lose a couple of yards on that option play. Second and 15. Six minutes left to go in the third period. No change in the score. It's still 14 to 6. They drop back pass, but he runs up the middle. Bader for good yardage. Picks up about 10 of that 15, but he's still short, and he's hurt. He's hurt. He got hit low and hard at knee. Oh, hate to see that. Rick Bader down on the Bird. ground. He got hit right Bird on that Bird knee. Hit him, hit him tough. We have that play again. You'll see where it hit him, and it's a very dangerous hit. Here it is. See where he gets cracked right on that knee. Here he is rolling out of the pocket. Comes up field. Bang, right on that leg. Ouch. Ouch. Looks like it's McPherson Helmet. who uh, actually did the hit on it. It's a knee. Talk about ball players going both ways and throwing yeoman duty. McPherson's another That's one. Right. He's the, the leading rusher in fact. The leading rusher. Ball. They're leading back, actually, and, but also playing defense. He does their, uh, their work on, on uh, kickoff receiving. Now you can see he's in a great deal of pain. They're trying to straighten that leg out. My guess is, gentlemen, he's hyperextended it. That, that's what it looks like right now, Carl, and, and they're being very careful. 
There is statistics, completion 44 out of 105. We'll be right back after these messages. which could take a great deal of punch out of this offense, man. The quarterback looks like it's going to be, and it is, Amaker, Doug Amaker. Oh, they have to move him from a key position in a deep back spot. Move him up. Very difficult situation to be put in. It's going to have a terrific impact on this offensive yes. unit because they have been moving the ball very, very well under the leadership of Fader. Great drop back. Going to the air right away. Across the middle. Completed down the middle. They're going to give him the completion, first and ten. Well, I, I must that's, tell you, I'm really surprised the very first play that he was challenging. Steve Wheeler Look takes that, that pass from that's, Doug Omaker. That's playing hard-nosed football. Look at that, right in the middle. He Great needle. Dude, he did it. We were just commenting on the fact that Omaker is going both ways, and he steps in the quarterback. You might see he's going three ways now. Patoxny <laughs> is still in there behind the quarterback and the Javian. 5.04 left to go in the third period. First and ten. Straight up the middle. Patochny met hard. Hit hard as he crossed the 45. Excuse me, making that the 40. He's up to the 43. Where it'll be second and let's say six. Amaker is a confident youngster out there, isn't he? I would say senior. definitely is. And, uh, Here's the guys that got their work cut out for them. The linebackers, the defensive line we just seen is Kelly, Morgan, and Smith. And the defensive backfield, Farrow, Cronenberger, Fonda, and McPherson. Passing down. The Jamian, the Tachny behind the quarterback, the new quarterback, Doug Omaker. Crossbuck play to the Jamian, and he's hit hard. He picks up two, make it third and five. This Omaker is a slick guy. Did you see that handoff? David Kelly and, uh, and Eric Douglas combined to make that tackle. That was tough. You should see him handle a cross stick, man. That's <laughs> pretty good on that That's also. Slick on that. Well, you know, last week, Carl, we saw an interesting situation where we had a substitute quarterback come in and lead his team on to a victory. So perhaps uh, we see a lot. similar situation with the team rallying around Amaker here. Right. Third and four. Great dive play up the middle. He's not going to make it. Just about no gain. It'll still be four to go. And they'll probably have a situation. Let's see who does the funny this time. Last time it was Mike Armstrong, number 34. So the injury to Thader has Doug Omaker now playing quarterback. His initial pass was good for 15 yards. It's McLeod playing 24 probably up. Bruce McLeod will do the funny and Garrick McPherson. Be receiving the ball, line drive kick off the toe of his shoe, out of bounds inside the 25, where Calvert Hall will take over with 3.05 left to go in the third period. And that was good strategy to punt. It's much too early to, to monkey around with trying to do something dangerous. Now what do you do with a kid like Amaka, who has to go both ways as he's done all day, but now he must play quarterback? When it comes up on offense. Well, it's still only the one position, but I, I think I think what this uh, he can maybe a while playing defense sort of settle down a little bit and and, uh, and he'll know he'll be expecting to play quarterback and I think be able to do it a bit more easily and maybe he'll run from that position. But now Coward Hall has got, got his work cut out because they're certainly not out of the woods. Two backs, Harris. The crossbuck play coming back to this side as we see the ball handed off inside and fumbles. Miles fumbles the ball, but it's fallen on there, as you see, by Calvert Hall, so they'll retain possession. And with the fumble, it's a pickup of six or seven. Make it second and three. And you can get a good example of how treacherous the field is, because a lot of guys are losing their footing out there now. Now we have a new back in there. That was Scott Freitag. Yeah, Scotty Freitag. Calvert Hall now starting to get some other players in the ball game. Right tag and Healy in the backfield. And off the Wiles going around the far side. He picks up good yards, making it uh, third and two. It looks like it was John Nosmack grabbing him from behind. Here's the defensive line. Collins, Oslander, Leonard, and Wheeler. The linebackers, Patosny, Amaker, and 
done last night. That's the fact. Quay, Beta McLord, that's the Jamian. Sal, Sal Jamian. Sal the Jamian is at uh, number 20, going both ways. We have a third and two for Calvert Hall. Wiles and Carter behind the quarterback. Straight dive up the middle to Carter. He's ever moving feet. I think he's got it. Lois, they had him stopped and he kept moving. They had him stopped. See when they place the ball. Interesting to note, we're winding down to just about a minute left in this uh, third quarter, and now this is the first quarter. Calvin Hall hasn't scored today. We'll take a measurement. It's a big measurement. Calvin Hall's forced to punt. Laney will receive that ball in pretty fair field condition. For a right, Mitch. Take a look at it. He's got it. First and ten. He's got it, but just barely. <laughs> <laughs> he sounded overpowering on that. Well, ball. I mean, he's about a half inch. Wasn't <laughs> even close. At least half the football, first down. Yeah, call it. If Delaney holds here, it's just got to be in their favor to get the ball. Here's, uh, take it. Oh, there's the handoff to the inside as Freitag takes the, the handoff coming back against the green. And we have a flag. A late flag in there. 56 seconds left to go. It's going to be marched off against Calvert Hall. Number 70 red on the hole. 70 red holding. Now that is a crucial, that's a crucial faux pas by Calvin Hall. Joe yeah. Barber, left guard. Death can prove to be very, very costly. You know, in the earlier games, we saw Calvin Hall repeatedly make mental mistake after mental mistake. And uh, it didn't cost him a tremendous amount of lost yardage. This time in motion to the far side as Lyles turned. Now triple looks to Lyles, gives him the ball, cuts back into the middle. And finally tackled across the 30, close to the first, then close to the first down marker, which means it will be a second and 10. Well, they made up a little bit of what they lost on that penalty. As I was about to say, was it's been a it's been a historically penalty uh, heavily penal penal season for uh, the Cowboy team, and that they've had a lot of mental mistakes that cost them some ball games. A lot of that's uh, exactly right. And that's what the audience uh, silly said early in the season. Remember on that in the first. Porter, when they on that drive, it was air-free, absolutely. And they were successful. That's important. 